Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Well, great to be with you tonight, live from Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And when I was here for UFC 113 back in 2010, George St. Pierre wasn't even fighting. Yeah. Loudest pro sports venue I have ever heard in my life. John, they get so excited to watch a fight. Look, double leg takedown lands. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Oh, shades of Kenny Foy in there. Elbow from the bottom by Steve Urson. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Blocked. He gets denied. Blocked. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Nice punch there by Urson. in the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh, and he lands it. Oh, oh, hip toss to get him down. Right to the young belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is gonna be stopped. All right, setting up for a finish here. It's tight. That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Making all these shots count. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Mokai. Changing the position. He's got to find a way back to his feet. Ursa, grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Hard scramble, hard scramble. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Ursang's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Good work, guys. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Ursex back in half guard, very comfortable here. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, man. Great submission defense on display tonight. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Ursa. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. Strong hook lands. Yes! Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh, again with the hook. Lands a big elbow there. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. 
Final seconds of round one. Oh, the takedown attempt starting to pile up. Here's another one. Unable to secure. Round two next. This next round, I want you to relax a little bit. You're too tight. You're forcing your leg kicks. I agree. Those leg kicks are going to be the key to your victory. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. And there it is yet again going for the takedown. Clinch work. Could just about do it. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even in the feet off, you've got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent, really, with most of what he's throwing. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of the ball. He, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Ursay gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. He gets to the single collar. I look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Steve Urson. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Looks like he's going for the trip here. Great balance, though, and he's able to stay upright. Rips the body there. Trying. Oh! Feels like the beginning of the end. He's in a lot of trouble. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Mokaya's eye is closing up. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. Oh! Oh, well-disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. One minute to go in the round. 
Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Man, he ate another shot right on that cut. You think his vision has been compromised at all? You know, it, it has to, right? Because you've got to be able to see to fight. And right now, he's been targeted in that area, and you can see it worsening. Well, it's one thing to land a singular elbow. It's an entirely different thing to string them together. Beautifully done there by Ursa. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't Ready. keep up with. So here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Inside leg kick is there by Steve Ursay. Takedown defense is there. Beautiful right hook counter. strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Okaya gets the double leg takedown. How good was that? Trying to recover full guard there. Doing good. It's okay. Move, use your footwork. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, he's The referee has stepped in here as expected. He is going to call in the doctor to look at what is a pretty significant cut that he's dealing with. It's a mess. It's completely a mess. And I'd be very surprised if this fight continues. Well, it looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would let this guy continue, but here we go. Ready. Fight. Ready. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on his shield. Oh! Huge right hand! All right, very late in the fight now, DC. I know we don't have open scoring, but correct me if I'm wrong, he needs a submission or he's losing this fight. He is not a big puncher. So he needs to get this fight to the ground and chase the submission. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this fight. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through 
these very tough moments. Two minutes now to go in the fight. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the out. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Mokayev's doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the goal. Oh! That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. The official decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Steve Astrobo.